G'day and welcome back for more Assertive Acquisitions, Capac, TFE. We have, um, we might have a new goal. Another one? Yeah. I've heard rumor that these suits upgrades that you wanted, TFE, might actually require some specialty componentry to be delivered to the trade station at the same time as the money. Uh, what happens if we don't have the special component? They just keep our money? Probably. Mm. Given what they've been doing with our repairs. Highway robbery. Yeah. So, we might have to do some exploration to try and find the people that have the special stuff and um, appropriate it. Mm. I was going to say negotiate, but sure. Well, I was going to say acquire. Oh, he said it. He said the thing. <laughs> you said the thing before. I did? Uh-huh. Oh. Well, I doubt it was intentional. <laughs> um, so, you two were working on... <clears throat> I was working on losing my voice. You were working on <laughs> making a gunship? Yes. Mm, TFE was working on it. I was working on being baffled by the gunship. Yeah. I'm being baffled by Kabak's movement right now. I was following him, and then I'm like, actually, this is dizzyingly uncomfortable. I'm just going to let him run around in circles. Kapak is immune to motion sickness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he, he really mostly is. Unless gravity's weird, and the, then it does make him sick. It's a good screensaver with him just looping around in and out of shot. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck on the cryo tube. Alright. So, Kapak, do you want to maybe work with TFE today rather than just being baffled by him when you turn up after you know most of the work's been started because mm. honestly you two worked really really well together on the schnoz it's not the piloting of it uh well uh, even then all right let's let's go have a look at this thing all right while well, you two are working on that uh Wait, I'm going this is to... the wrong way now we all go different ways to exit the... Continue... Ow! On the things that... What did you do? Ow. Oh. <laughs> did you just kill yourself? Almost. <laughs> Ow! I, I went to fly out through this bay and my feet caught on something and threw me up into the ceiling, so I ran into <laughs> the top of the door. Perfect. <laughs> there's, there's not even a cow orc here, so I don't know what I caught on. Oh, unless it was panels? like the edge of the armor. Yeah. Are, they, uh, are the edges of the armor actual physical? Uh, no. That's what Maybe I thought. The armor panels? But they're all. There's they're a med bay just here, Kapak. If you want to uh, heal yourself. What? Oh, right. This one. <laughs> it's actually a convenient angle. Angle. Um, yeah, as long as you don't respawn at it. <laughs> yeah, true. True, true. All right. Missile, missile, missile. Um, what do I want to do with these? How am I going to make them work better? Uh, make them pointier. What? Hmm. More aerodynamic. I'm trying to figure out a system I might be able to use where I can build. Ooh, build them attached to the schnoz in some way without actually modifying the schnoz itself. Well, I thought Capac you'd already put connectors on the sides to attach missiles to. Uh, well, no, that's for the drones. Also, you can put my buggy inside when you're ready. Um, I have an idea of how to make it better. Smaller? I was going to go semi-hovercraft style. Semi-hovercraft? Yeah, so we can make something smaller. Low friction wheels. Oh. Hmm. Do we need to keep Luigi anymore? I mean, it's kind of keeping everything else in place. <laughs> it's just become a connection right, then. point. Um, ah, what? Ah, stupid connectors. <laughs> you got to move quickly. Uh, TFE, would you mind moving the schnoz out a bit? Yeah. Because I'm going to build a thing and then you'll be able to reconnect. Yep. have an idea. And I, Ooh. I'd like to see if I can make it work. I am missing some forward. Reverse thrusters. I am detached. Okay, just gonna need a little bit of time. Ow! Connector Not bouncing away. Enough. Well, no, 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 it was close enough, and then it floated away from it because of the 
because I was still moving when I placed it. Oh, this camera angle. I'm trying to fly the green. Are you just flying down the corridor? No, I'm trying to put the the buggy in the corridor. Ah. Oh yeah, that thing that splits he smashed into the side of the oh, ship. Oh, Capac suggested it, so I was like, alright, fine. You listened to him, that's your fault. <laughs> I wasn't complaining about it. Yeah. I thought it was funny. Pretty sure I've gotten more use out of this thing as a tractor than as a fighter. I would agree. purpose. What I am doing is building some conveyors and connectors. Uh, I'm going to try and turn this into a mobile printer. Uh, cool. For launching missiles at enemies. Even if it's only a temporary thing that we use, um, it'll be a really, really good test bed. Because we'll be able to use the schnoz to get in range of stuff and then fire missiles from the back of this, rather than um, me trying to attach missiles that are moved off the carrier and uh, everything like that. You can reconnect now. What's when I finally get out? I... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, my idea is to build the, is to make this into a printer that the schnoz can come and collect. Wait, is that? Is that up? Is that up? There I'm is so no confused. up. Also, uh, I what? have an idea for a name for the carrier. Oh, is it a good one? I think so. Would you like to hear it? Sure. The Dutch Carrot what? Carrier. No, not the Dutch Carrot. That was just me coming up with a quick name for the beacon. The um, DCC. I've been thinking about the purple and how it's grown on me and how I kind of like it. And also how it looks like a cartoon from the 1980s and 1990s. If the purple is growing on you, you should probably consult a physician. <laughs> it's true. Uh, so I was thinking Skywarp. Mm. Like the Transformer of the same name. Is it the same colour? Yep. Well, Pretty I much mean, the same I... colour, uh, like the whole thing. Like white highlights gray highlights on a purple i guess it does like he does teleport around a bit so yeah. that's similar jump drives yeah once they're built mm. and he's a bit of a goofball so that's pretty similar <laughs> <laughs> yeah the goofball bit was a bit isn't quite right but like i don't know what do you mean isn't quite right <laughs> this is a perfectly normal ship i think you're underestimating the amount of goofballery that's been going on around these parts yeah fair point fair point I'll accept that. I mean, TFE's green ship here, a case in point. <laughs> this I... is definitely some goofballery. Mm -hmm. True. True, true. So, does that mean, Capac, you're on board with the name? Uh, yes. And TFE? I don't disagree. All right. It's settled. Skywall. Does that Ooh. mean you've now got to go and rename all the beacons on the all the stuff on the drones with a new beacon name i have no idea but i probably need to redo the drones anyway because they hardly ever work as i intended them to very true which is why i wanted to move on to making this portable missile printer because then i can actually do some real tests because i haven't been able to do any proper tests because every time i try and make a missile i end up I end up being too rushed Basically, when you guys, once you guys have made some sort of gunship, my plan for these missile tests was actually to fly with Capac in the schnoz. So my only thing I am doing is firing them. Yeah. You're doing the fighting of the drones and shooting of stuff. Capac's doing the capturing. I'm just blowing stuff up and seeing how it plays out. So I just watch the missiles, I don't have to do anything else. If you guys are happy to, I'd like to stick a camera somewhere on the schnoz. So I can... Um, I'm sure there are blocks that are capable of fitting a camera somewhere. Yeah, probably... Wait, I thought I... One up somewhere. Is it came back? I thought I had a camera on the front. You might have, Maybe it might have been blown off at some point. Probably. Oh. Oh. That's another benefit of this thing. I can turn, I can slap a bunch of turrets oh, on this wait, printer. Yeah, you should just put it there. 
That works. Yeah, you can put these new top-mounted cameras on the um on the big oh. grabby plate up front. Mm. Ah, nice. Okay. That should give you a pretty wide field yep. of view. And I and I'm going to put at least on the test missiles. I'm going to put antenna on so that I can follow them and actually track what they're doing. Are they going to be like ants? Huh? Yeah. So they're going to have antenna. I've already lost track of which way is up on this ship. Yeah, vertical designs are tough. I'll be impressed if you pull it off, but they're tough. I'm not sure if it's so much vertical as spherical. <laughs> I mean, it seemed like it was in, it was trying to be vertical. It's but he doesn't have an external access, so I don't know what. Um, I was thinking I always do it like underneath on the sides, it's sort of um along here somewhere. Have a door on each side. Uh, come back. Those, I think, were placeholders because that's where the assert ones were going to go. Back. Uh, sure. The real question is whether we'll be able to maneuver them into position or not. Inventory. Come to think of it, we should probably do that first. <laughs> we have uh, three no, like they, that. they should be pretty easy. We may have to take out some of the side armor block, but that shouldn't be too hard. Hmm, do I care about ad pipes or not? I mean, that would pretty much every other ship they've got. Well, are you going to put oxygen tanks on it? Mm, I suppose so, even if we never end up using it like the schnoz. <laughs> Come back used it on the schnoz. The air tight. Yeah. This this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Get this. Uh, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Come back. Do you think we just, like, build up the outside so we've got an idea of what we're working with? Um. Basically establish where the inside and outside of this thing are. Well, if you're gonna have like a, like so a keep it like three twin wide. interior like that, it's gonna need to be at least five blocks wide, and it's gonna be a little taller thanks to the height of the guns. I mean, the other option would be to just not have downstairs as a walkable space; just have it for like putting in tanks and whatever. Batteries. And base, yeah, and basically only have the top bit is actually accessible. Sort of like your um flow conflict where the interior space was only part of the whole ship. So I kind of like having it narrow like that. Just the three wide. Uh, it's going to be very tricky to do that and incorporate all the blocks that you need to make it functional. Mm, problem is, yeah, the side thrusters, I'd have to... Unless we went like weirdly asymmetrical with the block placement. Okay, but can you think that looks if hypothetically it was just three wide but the side thrusters were sticking out slightly? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, should look fine. Mm. Um, but will we be able to squeeze everything in? Um, well, I'm guessing don't we need that many side thrusters? It's mainly forwards, backwards, and up, I guess. Ah. I don't, uh, but, oh. Ow. <laughs> you take damage from that. No, I just, just started. Oh. Just ran out of energy without any warning. I guess with doing it like this, the ion thrust is almost acting as like side armor for the cockpit. They will be a bit more susceptible to damage though. Mm. Although, with the volume of firepower this should be putting out and considering it should only really be facing off against drones, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm trying to fit this thing into a space that can be printed by just two welders is going to be my, my challenge, I think. Because I'd like to do that, because then I can put loads of printers onto the car, onto the onto Skywarp, onto the Skywarp, onto Skywarp. How should I? Hmm. I'm not sure how to say that. How would you say? Skywarp. It? Skywarp. Onto the Skywarp or onto Skywarp? Uh, well, unfortunately, in this case, it's not a person. So, I'd lean towards the Skywarp. Hmm. Why do you say, unfortunately, it's not a person? <laughs> you hoping it'll be a person. Anthropomized spaceship. Yes. But it's fun to anthropomorphize things. What? No, I don't want to anthropomorphize it. I just want it to be alive. Oh. It's not, not the same thing. It, it's true. They are different things. Humans are the worst. Why would I want to make things more human? <laughs> <laughs> There's a quote. <laughs> I mean, I kind of don't disagree with Cafe. Do you have any doubt that if I was given the opportunity, I wouldn't take it to be a fighter jet that can transform into a 20 meter tall robot? 
I have no doubt whatsoever. You would you would definitely do that. I wouldn't even think about it. Yep. It's true. I'd be saying yes before whoever was asking me the question had finished the sentence. It's true. All right. Even if it was just to be one of the boring background ones, it doesn't even get a name or a proper color scheme. What if it was to be a bad stereotype one in the movies you don't like? Oof. No. I mean, they at the least have the advantage of being gigantic since they're all uh, relatively scaled properly for their mass. Hey, Mike, what do you think about having like these sort of like, its fins aren't the right? Like a little armor baffle around yeah. the, the thrusters. Yeah, the I'm, I'm a fan yeah. of those. It's just because where the turret is, you can't re-extend it, so it's got to join back in with the main shape pretty sharply. Wait, why don't if you drop the if you drop the thrusters down one block, then you can make like a full armor baffle all the way around without interfering with the gun as much, at least in the forward. Well, actually, arc. that's a good point. I am sort of one block above the center line, aren't I? Do you guys have an you oxygen make... source around here? Uh, there's a cockpit on the connector tree. Ah. Let's turn these welders on and make sure all this stuff can get welded up. I wonder what things I'm going to forget to do on these the first time we launch them. Hopefully not the friend or foe identification. <laughs> what mechanism shall I try and use to make these things explode before impact? A button. Oh. Um, a button? I mean... Do you reckon you can transfer yourself from missile to missile quickly enough to press the button each time so that you can explode them? How quickly do you reckon you can get back from a survival kit? Um... <laughs> what if you put the bombs at the back of the missile and put a, like, a sensor at the front of the missile? Sensor... the rate at which sensors detect stuff is too slow for a collision at 100 meters a second. Okay. I think. I can't... Can you use the fancy new automation block to say oh, if it doesn't detect a certain block as a trigger? So that if you have a block at the front that gets destroyed and then it can't find that block, then it detonates the, the warhead? Yep, that works until you're getting shot at. <laughs> uh, wait, no, but that that works well if it's being shot at. Why? It then explodes that 800 meters away from the thing. Yeah, but that means, like, it can be, like, shut down, which is good. No. What do you mean no? It's not good. We don't want them getting to, to just explode the first time they get shot. No, but if they, well, maybe not the first time. <laughs> so, so, make, so make the block that needs to be destroyed pretty tough. I'm actually wondering whether... Because we've got we've got some um, updated software on these event controllers. I wonder if that's going to be enough to make the difference to make them actually work. I don't know. Just put a pigeon in it. <laughs> what about a dolphin? I don't know if you can fit a dolphin. You it's need large grid missile. blocks to fit a dolphin. <laughs> I like how we're rejecting this idea on practical grounds. I'm going to try the sensor, but I'm going to put the range out to be quite high. Because I think that I think I can actually do it with the sensor. I just need the the extent of the sensor to be quite significant so that there's enough time for it to activate but if the if there are enough warheads on board the explosion should still be large enough to destroy the thing but yes i will put a safety on the missiles so that if they haven't blown up and they've run out of fuel they will explode themselves but as mentioned previously more warheads equals more better yeah, I guess I'm just thinking basically have the cover at the front and then don't wait having a one at the other side. Ooh, uh, put a put a tamper switch. Um, put a put a sensor that that detonates it if a uh, if a person gets too close after it's been armed. Sure. That's not going to blow me up on the launch pad. <laughs> it just goes in and changes the settings. Uh, hmm. Capac? Okay. Settings? I wasn't, change? I wasn't going to put a thruster there because I thought that... Are these thrusters in danger of actually getting shot by the turret? Um, probably not. <laughs> Don't sound super I mean, confident. 
The turret does actually stick out slightly further than the... Yeah, but the turret can press. Yeah, but I guess with the way this set up, we're probably not going to be facing things directly what? straight on. Okay, how am I out of energy again? And why did I not get a notification again? This is annoying. Did you turn your notifications off? TV's nope. got his off. I have the audio off, yeah. Okay, I currently have 12 warheads on this. These just need to pick a target, go to the target, collide with the target, and explode. Or explode before they collide with the target. There is nothing else they need to do. Right? Uh, that sounds right. Just trying to... I just want to have a look at my other missiles and see whether there are any other blocks on them that I've forgotten to put on this thing. Like how last time I forgot to put the batteries on. <laughs> Jeez, Solar powered no. missiles. Okay, so these ones were bigger because I have three fuel tanks across. What did I have on the bottom here? Got warhead, timer block, timer block, gyro. Okay, should be good if I. If I, uh, pop, 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 pop. if I pop a couple of timer blocks on here. And then the rest can be warheads. And then uh, heavy armor all over it. All over it. Yeah, that'll work. There was a part of me that was hoping you guys would be finished that in time for a combined test. Well, that part of you was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not our fault you work so quickly. <laughs> you, just, you said... Hmm. Wasn't expecting that, Kavak. Um, <laughs> I, I agree with you. I, the sentiment is accurate, but I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> but yes, that part of me was very wrong. I don't know how much armor and stuff to put on this, because the more armor I put on it, the less the warheads... Like, the warheads have to blow that armor up. Hmm. Well, well, too much or too you, little. You probably want, like, front heavy, if anything. Yeah, it's probably... It wants to be protected from uh, point defense fire. But if it's if they're getting shot down by drones or something, then you've got other problems. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go light armor on the sides, and I'll put some nose heavy armor. The other thing that's kind of cool about mm. what I learned no with the energy. the um, 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 the warheads is that I only need to arm one warhead on it. No other warheads need to be armed, and they will still amplify the explosion dramatically, especially with the number I've got going on. What are you doing, Capac? I'm gonna just mess it around with some decoration ideas. Figured what? I'd leave the hard work to you. He's resisting the urge to come over and have a look at one Earth. <laughs> yes, about. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. I'm also contemplating the merits of um, aesthetic design on something intended to explode. <laughs> what, you want fins on your missile? A little bit. I mean. <laughs> There's totally non-existent aerodynamics to consider. Yeah, yeah, you want it to be stabilized in space. I don't know. Put the gyros in the wing. That way, you've got a reason to have them. No, I need. To, I need to keep it. I need to keep it narrow, so I can't let myself do that. This thing actually does. There, are, there's, there's a form it needs to keep. Because if I keep it in a three by three by three, then it's possible, though not necessarily likely, but it is possible that I could launch it out of a regular door. Oh, they haven't given us a proper closing hatch for the ladder blocks, have they? No. Wait, can you put one of the access hatch blocks on top of it? No, they're not big enough. Ah. Yeah. Oh, now I get an energy low warning. The third time it happens. Wait, neither of the guns are completed. What did you mean? Oh, <laughs> I thought this ones. one was built. Uh, that's the bottom. What? Get back. Cockpit. Wait, <laughs> there's a seat there? I'm pretty sure there's a seat there. Or did I get rid of it when I went to move it? <laughs> yeah, there is a cockpit seat. That tells you which way's up. Uh, it, it's the most basic thing, and it's the thing that's throwing you guys off. I love it. Orientation. Hmm. Are these like they're almost like hovercraft skirts on the side? Uh, I mean, now they are. I thought it was the top. No, <laughs> top's up here. I mean, to be fair, I was gonna, I was gonna do it on both sides, but. Hmm. I find myself in design is borrowing a lot of stuff from the schnoz. 
mainly in how I think we can have the boarding work out. Because the problem is when we're three blocks wide, we need to run the airlock lengthways. Uh, not necessarily. Well, it's going to be very tricky running it the other way. Well, because you've got because you've got ladders, you could yeah, do. I, I was thinking of potentially ditching the downstairs bit because probably need the space down there, putting in the batteries and the gyros and everything. And we don't really need two walkable levels. But well, I was going to say though, um, with the ladder, you can have uh, an airlock that's split, so you go in the door, mm. go up the ladder, and you have the other access on another level. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's the. I think I've built what's required for this guided thing. Now I'm just going to make it work. It's printable. It fits within the volume it's supposed to. I have not added the temporary antenna I said I was going to, so I should probably do that. We keep getting bits of scrap metal floating around in know. here. Slightly worrying. Yeah. Is someone Is grinding down batteries? Um, I haven't seen so. any batteries. How else are you making scrap? Hmm. Uh, now I feel like I need a test, test bed to try this idea. Which I did. We'll uh, build another ship just to test capacity. Had an idea for. I think the funny thing is, we've used all three variants of the iron thruster, and I think it might actually work. <laughs> well, I'm sure Splits here will hate. Mainly because, even though we're using all three, they uh, consistently only use in certain directions. Wait, I wasn't really listening. What are you doing? Uh, we've currently got all three varieties of iron thruster on this thing. Oh, okay. Well, it makes sense because you're going to be like adding more as you as we get more of them and replacing them progressively with assert thrusters so you just kind of be making use of whatever one we happen to have on hand hey, gotta build something here i am gonna be really fascinated to see how this thing goes <laughs> what's that horrified i'm horrified looking at it right now yes Warheads do I have on this now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Solid. I'm happy with that. Uh, move block. And behavior on. Precision mode. Doesn't matter. Collision avoidance off. Speed limit. High. Don't align. Don't care. Defensive block. Behavior on. Attack enemies. Priority largest. Attack pattern intercept. Guidance type. Logo predictor. Basic. I'll leave it on basic now. I reckon let's try 25 meter radius for the sensor. Uh hmm. There's a bit of a problem with having these passageways here. What about? Uh you can't armor them. Yeah. You could move that whole row up to, up to the next. Uh, I guess so. Actually, yeah, you could just yeah, we could just move it up, um, because we've got the space. Oh well, uh, except for where the ion thrusters are, and they'd get in the way. Uh, they. Wait, why would they get in the way? Um, where the control seat is, we can't move it up a block. <laughs> Actually, since actually better idea, since it's um it's only a half passage wall, we could just make it a heavy armor panel. Obviously, you'd still have side of the doors. Oh, this ship is so hard to navigate in zero g. Neat cap and I'm not gonna make Clitzy just tell this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting involved. Clitzy's <laughs> just gonna say, go back to the drawing board. Cap keeps trying to make the ship wider, <laughs> and I'm trying not to. No, I'm trying to armor up these passageways you insist on putting everywhere. Well, how about... I mean, the doors are all You know it's a TFE build strong anyway. when there's lots of passageways and round windows. Hey, there is only... Hey, if we do this change, there will only be <laughs> one passageway and the side of two slided doors, which are pretty strong uh -huh, anyway. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, anyway, I'm getting back to my launch setup. So I've got... My AI control blocks turning on. 
I've got my thrust, my forward thrusters getting overridden seven times, and then I'll have a timer block to de override them. Um, my batteries go off recharge. My tanks need to go off stockpile. And otherwise, I should turn on the antenna. I should turn on the exhaust pipe. The rest of it should be fine. I mean, Tabak, if we didn't have the thruster bit, I would. It's just the fact that there's the little thrust to cover bit as well. What about it? It's so many competing different angles. Oh, well, that's easily fixed. Like this. Like, um... Yeah. That looks good. Mm, yeah. Okay, that works. No, you just did the same thing on the other side. Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's just, yeah, the round stood out too much. Yeah, I think we've moved away from roundness. Well, I mean, we've still sort of got the S roundness at the front, sort of. <laughs> yeah, that works. I think I have a missile design that should be functional. Uh, what about putting a jump drive on the missile so that they can travel to their targets through hyperspace? That would be very expensive. We didn't even have jump drives on the Skywarp yet. Hang on a second. You were saying that we have to call it the Skywarp, but it's got Shodan. Doesn't that mean it can be Skywarp because it's got brains? What? That's not what Shodan's there for. Okay, not gonna ask any further questions. Well, Shodan's just there to call us insects and to uh, say we're all doomed. I see. I'm glad I found out more information. I didn't want to know that. Oh. Drat. Forgot something important with the launch. Time block would help if I disconnect from the parent grid. Possibly. Are you trying to blow up the whole ship again? Ah. I've never tried to blow up the whole ship. Otherwise, I would have. So, the way I'm building this missile rack for taking on the schnoz, what, you're gonna I probably the should have done it a bit differently. Um, because I could have actually done it so the the printed part was detachable and the printer stays at the at the carrier yeah because that probably would have made, made more sense because then we would have just been taking a rack of 10 missiles each time every time i go back to the cargo container get more bits i lose the ship that i'm working <laughs> the giant green thing yeah <laughs> That is, um, certainly a skill. Capac, that is me levels of disorientation. Well, it is a real mess oh. over here. Yeah, this appendage for Skywarp is gonna have to go. Well, yeah, when it can actually move. He's talking about the... <laughs> well, it should be able to move now. It's not very well. Right, I've got one assertive thruster ready to install. Yep. We what may want... Thinking? There's not a lot of room here. Yeah. So we may have to actually... Make the ship operational. Get it flying, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll put a temporary... Uh, actually... All we need is a gyro, because if we turned it sideways, you'd be able to access the rear of the ship. Well, I'll build one of these rear thrusters, so at least we can fly it if we have yeah. to. Yeah. Um, I'll find somewhere to hide a gyro as well. Uh, we'll probably want to put these in two at a time. Do the two mm. on the top and then the two on the bottom. Alright, let's weld up ten of these missiles. Bam. And they immediately fly off. <laughs> Our scope has been out. Probably need more than one, but it'll be enough. Oh, it's oh, glorious. It's laggy. Um. <laughs> I take it it's not liking you. Go <laughs> the connection's not liking me doing this. No. Okay, back, why have you... Oh, so we can put the thruster in easier. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right, we, just... could, we can mirror from the other side. Yeah. So, oh, just realized a thing that I did on the uh, blueprint that I shouldn't have... that I should have fixed. Launch timer block's ready. Oh, there's so many steps to think about with this stuff. I'm so worried I'm going to have missed something important. Oxygen tank has been added, so we got batteries, I can add more gyros, put oxygen tank. Uh, what else do we need? So is your ship almost flyable? 
Um, theoretically, yeah, it's, it's still got there. some holes in it, but yeah. Huh. Combat ready? Hmm. I should probably need to set up Izzy so it um, auto pulls in the ammo. Well, my thing's ready. As it's gonna be for now. Oh wait, there's no antenna on any of these. Oh, beacon, yeah. That's something that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beacon on things that are going to be in the firing line. Yes, good, Im good, good, important. This is, this is just an armor block. Wait, is there something? Oh, is there but it's no, there's a panel box. No, I forgot. I remembered why I can't put the survival kit there. Because oh. the armor panel is occupying this space. Oh, of course. Uh, oh, uh, uh, wait, move, so, move the. So, whoa. Wait, uh, so if I put. Six move the out. move the fan so the fan is facing the cockpit and put the survival kit off the back of the cargo container. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think that works. It feels a bit more open. Are yeah, you guys almost works. ready? Um. Say like nearly. Yeah. Cool. Just ignore the holes. We're just doing the final so. uh, final touches of the uh, interior section. All right. Like you. Where's the connector? Now. Doesn't have one yet. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a good point. Um, I guess, oh, it's, it's going to be at the back in between the two. I suppose thrusters. it doesn't. Well, it's going to need to have cargo connection through there. Yeah, but um, if we yeah, if we drill straight through, we'll get to the conveyor network. Yeah. Okay. Conveyor is in the middle. Is there anything I can do to expedite it being combat ready so we can um, go and run these combat tests? Uh, make sure it's loaded with ammo and that the guns yeah. are set up properly. That would probably help. Alright, I'll start working on getting this conveyor out to a connector. Yep. And I will... Uh, do you want the Gatlings tar targeting everything or just targeting small ships? Probably just... Mm -hmm. oh, I'll leave you to have that con yeah, as a control cause... on your hopper. So that you can be well. in your usual thing, TFE, of messing up your controls of your turrets. Hey. <laughs> you have no proof of that. What turret do you guys want on top? Uh, assault cannon. Is okay. Matching what's on the bottom. Oh, wait, no. It's... Yeah, oh, there's no yeah, turret can... in either oh, position. Yeah. Kavak removed them because he was trying to get the assert thrusters into position. Yeah, which was probably smart because turrets yeah, have a large hitbox. Kavak has learnt this. Uh, are we... Uh, this thing's got enough thrusters, so we're good to disconnect it, right? Theoretically, Energy yeah. Low. And I'm pretty sure it's dampeners are on. I didn't switch them off. Well, it's disconnected oh. now. Why the... You project the noises when you disconnect. Oh. So I'm dying slightly. So, assault cannons and Gatling guns. That's what you're going with? So, yeah. Okay. What, you suggest we put some rail guns on the front? No, no, I do yeah. not. I am I don't think this that. thing's big enough to fit one. Just have it strapped to the side. I had a feeling well, you would say that. What, have it on some sort of... Actually, Piston. instead of having the assault cannon turret on top, you'd have like a rail gun thing that can be like, pops up. <laughs> vertically. <sighs> Let's just see if this thing works. I know. Even as a basic thing. ship first, shall we? Hey. Well, everything you could want in the ship. What, green? Yes. That's Trust all you need in a ship. It has gyros. Yeah, what is has... with you two and green machines? Just the colour I started with. But like a lot of things around here, the colour it started with, it just ends up staying as... <laughs> Fair point. Fair point. Well made. I, can't... <laughs> I really can't argue. Oh my gosh, how many batteries have you got on this thing? I... Well, we, didn't... Enough. we didn't have any, and then we had all. Yeah. Feels like it. I'm trying to help you weld them up and it's taking forever. Right. Yeah. We've got a connector. Oh. Uh, Kapak, I was going to suggest having it flush with the thrusters. But, um. Well, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Thrusters are going to cook things, so I thought I'd move it. Yeah, back. but instead we've got this sort of protrusion on the back that I'm not the biggest fan of. Yeah, it makes it um, look more aggressive, like a trilobite. In medical parlance, that would be called a proud anus. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's going to be a very minor amount of thruster burn. Well, 
<laughs> I think Kevac's still you'll, thrown by my you'll comments. You'll just have to get Proctologist Splitsy to rectify it then, won't you? You had to say rectify, didn't you? I did have to say rectify. <laughs> I did want to put it on like a really long tail, so I looked no. even more like a trilobite or a horseshoe I mean, crab. Have we ever had thruster burns actually cause any issues apart from us forgetting to turn dampness off? Yeah, that's called famous thing. last words um, right there. Come back. Uh last well recently when i moved the mining ship for you that caused holes didn't it uh oh yeah he yeah. ruined my whole deck yeah see has happened recently That's you're true. assuming i'm splitsy no i'm just pointing out that we've had thrust to damage things recently well how about i attach it to my ship when it's docked so if anything happens it only affects me <laughs> fair enough you really don't want that proud thing on no. the back of you. <laughs> uh, we had enough. Can I had enough of a fight just adding these little extra bits on the side? I'm like, no, this is too far. <laughs> oh. There you go, I got him. So, plate and then we're done. Pretty much. Right. See if he can now cook everything he wants. Uh, Kapak, is there anything we need to do with the schnoz before it's flight worthy? Uh, I mean, you could patch up all the armor that you banged up. I thought I'd done most of that. Uh, you, miss, you seem to have missed this part. Oh, right. Yeah, that was me, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought you were meaning the bits when you were asleep. Those those bits. No, no, any bits. All bits. <laughs> I'm not selective when I come to which parts of my ship I want hammered back into shape. What, you left this round glass here even though it doesn't go anywhere? Yes. Wait, where is it? <laughs> On the front. On the front. Yep. <laughs> Purely decorative. Yeah, decorative glass. Why not? It's extra armor. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, surely... Ooh, some of those. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. What's Capac playing? Don't worry. It's gonna be cool. Hmm. Heard that before. Yeah, but you haven't seen it before. You got anything you're putting in here over this fan? No. I'm gonna put, like, a seat back here. You could put like a row of like couches along the back wall. Uh, except this corner's occupied. Oh, right. So yeah. there'd just be one in the middle then. Yeah. And the whole thing's green. Why don't you put some plants in here? <laughs> they have much light. <laughs> Unless they grow lights. What's this thing called? Um, apparently just called the green thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Ooh. Was this your idea, Captain? Yeah. I um, like this. Can you hook this up to the base, please? Uh, yep. Because otherwise, I where? cannot set oh. up the stuff you need. Uh, where am I going to connect? Hmm. Kind of need another. Oh, okay. Uh, Gyroscopes are I very don't... powerful. <laughs> yeah, you've got a lot of gyros on this thing. I don't know if this thing's actually airtight. Yeah, um, you can probably connect onto one of the sides of the schnoz. Yeah, it's it's not got any air. That's why it's not airtight. That's why it's not. Yeah. Well, uh, I think Pressurizing. here where the seat is, I, I don't know if that was actually airtight. Yeah, once once I've set up the ammo, then we can go. And yep. right now there is a skippy out there, which is probably a nice soft first target. Alright, good. Now I can set up this cargo container. Oh, and the dampener's off. Oh, yeah, let's, let's have less jiggle, please. <laughs> that was unpleasant. Medium caliber ammo? Is that what we're getting? Um... Oh, I guess which one it is. Same. I mean, I mean, I mean, we'll know pretty quickly. It'll either go into the turret or it won't. It's not auto cannon clip. No. Okay. So yeah. it should be medium caliber ammo. Yeah. Yep. Cool. You've got assault cannon shells. All right. Yep. You are armed and ready to go. Clear to unlock. Capac and I are going to board the schnoz. Um, Capac, don't disconnect the schnoz. I will disconnect you. How rude. Well, because it's a new connector at the rear of the um a little appendage uh tfe see if you can catch that skippy before it gets away no oh, i need to have to set up my block groups all right all right all right otherwise Look you complain that my groups. turrets are set up wrong <laughs> i mean they what? will be anyway but... catfish utility shuttle it's gone all right so i'm at the helm of the schnoz wait a minute that turret isn't green i was just building in the color i had because the lights are green at 
didn't show immediately that I'd painted them white. Um, Kabak, when you're next in the schnoz, can I get you to disconnect and rotate so that we're both at the same angle? You told me not to disconnect. I know I told you that. I'm telling you a new thing now. That's not allowed. Alright, which way is up on this thing? Um, rotate left. That way? Yep. Are you sure your thing isn't going to get cooked by my thrusters? Um, no. <laughs> Everything's got ammo, yep. Oh, container's got ammo. Nice. Uh, yeah, do you want to disconnect? I'll stretch this thing a bit. Sorry. Good call. Is anyone else seeing a random cloud of white smoke? Yeah, why am I producing green thing? that? Yeah, what if I go forwards? Yeah, it's following you around. Why is it following me? Nothing's it's damaged. An, it's an electric smoke too. There's like lightning bolts Wait. in it. Um, I haven't got... Kavak didn't hide an exhaust pipe on it, did he? No, but uh, why would it be so far away from the ship? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. It's oh well. Keep... Well, I've got a companion. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Kavak, I'm going to disconnect this. Yep. We can move forward now. That's a lot of smoke. <laughs> Yeah, it's obscurity. I'm dampening to the schnoz. Um, wow. Well, weapon transport. So we're going to go after this bioweapon transport, yeah? Yep. Good. So, order of battle. TFE, you are now the front runner. Hey. You are going to attract the, dr the attention of the drones. Yep. And you are going to destroy said drones. Yep. Kapak and I are going to test our weapons against the bioweapon transport. Kapak, you should probably keep us somewhere between 1500 meters and 2 kilometers. Yeah. I am going to ta check these batteries to see if they are taking damage from your thrusters. They do yeah, not appear to be. That's a good idea. <laughs> yep, I'm still. I don't know why I'm producing a trailer smoke. <laughs> oh well. Uh, Kapak, you're closing very quickly. We've already got a monarch inbound. Yep. I've annoyed them. Come back, let me know when you've... Oh. Firefly. Ah, we're getting shot. Apparently so. Come back, you got to put yourself in the firing line. Not me. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to put my gun on the right side. All right, looks like we took it down. Yep, drains me. Yep. What? Something's on fire already. Oh, there we go. Now it's down. <laughs> All right, bioweapon transport. Okay, let's. Took out one of these air thrusters already. Jeez. All right, Kabaki, okay. have you got your dampeners on? No. Okay, good. Um, do you want to let me know when you're not accelerating? Because I'll uh, try and launch I'm, one of I'm these missiles. I'm not accelerating. We're headed towards it slowly. All right. Launching one. Oh. Getting rid of that drone, on me. Uh, launch sequence has failed. Why? Um, uh, why? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you are set to deploy the rear ones first, right? No. Uh, because that would make sense. Whoa, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back. I thought you said it failed. It did, but it, it would... Well, the target's getting away. Alright, I'm going to keep checking my... I'm going to check my launch thing, see why they're failing. Uh, can I move yet? Yeah. Oh, I know why it's failed. I'm a dumb dumb. Oh, it looks very janky from where I'm standing. Why? Because there's one wobbling around back there. Yep. You're just cruising again? Yep. Oh, no, I don't I don't know how I'm going to fix all of this in any reasonable time. Arg. What, what's broken? What, should I deploy my assault cannons then? Um, so what's broken is I haven't been I didn't turn the thrusters on when they disconnect. Uh, can you manually turn them on? Yeah, sort of. 1.88. I knew I was going to forget something important. I just knew it. 1.89. It's getting away again. Yeah, I'm on it. It's moving in about... Whoa, there it goes. There it goes. Maybe about 40 meters a second. Oh. I see the missiles. Where's it going? Um, is it locking onto me? Shouldn't. Oh, wait, is it locking onto the debris of one of the drones back there? Shouldn't. Should go largest target. Um, it doesn't look like it's headed in the right direction. There is an asteroid over there. 
Wait, is that our asteroid? Is it headed back to our base? Um, sort of? I don't uh, know same. what it's heading for. Are we breaking off to show you the ship or do we keep going? No, keep launch go another one. Keep going. I need to figure out how to launch these things. All right, can I move yet? Yeah, you can move. Just keep moving. I'll tell you when I need to launch one. Oh, hey. oh no. This is, <laughs> this is really bad because I've got so many of them. Oh, I should have been printing one at a time instead of doing it this way. Arg! I don't know how to fix one of these. Ah! I don't know how to do this. <laughs> There's so many blocks. Like, trying to find just the right blocks to activate is really, really difficult. Because everything is the same grid. I need to turn off all these merge blocks. That's what I need to start doing. Merge block off, then at least everything here is a subgrid. Is its own grid. Um, so... Oh, Capac. What? Put Dude. the camera on upside down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's see what happens. Uh. Um. Is it just going straight ahead? What's it no, doing? Oh, no, Wait, no it's, it's moving. Wait, is it going back towards it's you? It's going real fast. Uh, oh, oh, it's locked on. For the it's transport. locked on. Yep, it's heading for the transport. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's firing. Oh. Oh. I lost the camera. Oh. Whoa. That was a good hit. Did, did, did that do damage? With TFE's pride on the line and my frustrations getting out of hand, what will Capac bring to the party next week as Assertive Acquisitions continues? Alright. Three, two, one. Launching. Oh, the Murakos are trying to evade it. Oh, it Ooh. exploded clear. 